first time. And uh, I have to say I like it. Um, my tubes didn't stay in good. The one on this right side seemed to pop out some. I'm hoping I didn't pull it all the way through from the other side. But uh, we'll see when I get stopped. Um, yeah, I love it. Uh, it gives me a lot more control. And basically, like right now, I can just set it to center and paddle. And it keeps me centered, which is exactly what I needed to do not be all over the place um, but yeah it's it's definitely uh, a move in the right direction so today I went ahead and uh, kind of jumped the gun but wanted to get ahead of the game because <clears throat> um, I, I knew I'd like these things I figured I would um, I ordered the Bixby system to connect to the rudder so, um, with that, that'll be uh, a solid motorized solution. Oh, this is a whole. Hold on a second. Back up, back up. Been fishing this pond. And it has been super shallow. Ooh, this is some pop of water. I've been troubling. Pulling my. My lure. Uh oh, no. Yeah, I noticed with like these uh, square bills and swim baits and such, I actually have a lot better oh, control. Stupid. Paddle down. I have a lot better control of the kayak. And um, man, when I get. When I get my anchor system worked out again, I think it's gonna be perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. But I notice like when I'm using the swim bait, the tension the swim bait gives me. Um, <laughs> while I'm fishing, I actually am able to uh, control the kayak. It's pretty, pretty awesome actually. Really awesome. Yeah. One second. So what's up guys? Here we have the, the bona fide 127 rudder. This kayak needs steering. And I have struggled. Uh, I've looked at cheaper DIY options. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be honest with you. This thing is pretty beefy. Uh, it is worth far more money than those 30 and 40 and $50 uh, uh, rudders that are on uh, Amazon. So I'm upgrading. Um, so a thought process in the future, you know, I've looked at motorized everything. I've got a motorized setup to put in my pod. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do uh, seeing as this looks pretty easy to just remove the screw and change out this rudder is um, Or just take the whole thing like the whole assembly I'm eventually gonna go to a big speed or uh, especially the, the bona fide So I'm gonna contact them and see what I can figure out uh, if not the big speed is the answer. They have this universal um, uh, Universal connection basically uh, but you have to sacrifice your rudder so i'm thinking i'll just buy another rudder and put the bigsby on it and then i'll just swap them out as i want to and that way the uh the power uh the power bank for the bigsby it should essentially either fit under my seat in the junk drawer or just sit back here in the in the back section uh but i think both of them are better options than what i've been doing up till now um i've got the uh the water snake and it's working i mean it works great I, I actually just don't use it because the battery's so heavy and if i'm going to spend the amount of money that it takes to get the uh the lithium ion or whatever the the high-end lightweight batteries then i might as well just step up to a big speed system um and uh you know just reap the benefits of the entire package rather than trying to piecemeal something together i'm having to sacrifice 
my power, my, sorry, my yak gadget pole system. Um, but my thoughts and, and honestly, this just looks so good to me being just centered. I don't know. I, I just love this, but what's probably about to happen is, uh, this It's probably going to be the rudder. Let me give you an idea. I am either going to mount it like this and uh, make it to where I can put a power pole on it if I need to. I don't know, I'm trying to figure that part out. Uh, I want, I love this, um, but there are, a I love this honestly because I got the pole option and I run the anchor in here. Um, so I don't know, I got a little bit to figure out, but, uh, but I definitely want to do this in mind that if I ever change my mind to do a power pole, I want to be able to bolt it up here and it be efficient. It'll be what it's supposed to be, right? Um, I see a lot of guys doing it when it's stowed. It looks something like this. So I lost some footage, so I'm going to continue with the voiceover at this point. Um, so if I didn't say it clearly enough, um, I really like the, the rudder system. It really adds some um, hands-free control as you're fishing. Even when sitting still, I noticed that if I just needed a slight adjustment to left or right, uh, that if I, you know, swung my rudder to the left or the right, it would kick me in the other direction. Um, you know, and, and, and drifting as well. So as I'm drifting, it, it helps me um, control it that way. So it's definitely uh, a perfect add-on. If you are a, a user who's putting the motor in the pod mount, I think this is like in game right here. So the bona fide rudder plus the pod mount motor um, would be just epic. I mean, it's it's hands free for the most part, right? You got your motor right in front of you to control on and off and you just use your feet to steer. Uh, but it's pretty great. I, I can't suggest doing this mod enough. Uh, for me though, I'm putting the uh, fish finder in the pod and I'm doing away with the pod mount motor. Um, so my next step is to adjust, uh, sorry, modify the Bigsby um, uh, to this rudder or use the Bigsby rudder. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video uh, to follow that mod. Thanks for watching guys and as always like and subscribe. Uh, you know I don't do this for notoriety but it, it helps you know getting the views out there. Uh, especially it helps to you know partner up with other uh, vendors and you know for them to help me out in my fishing game so appreciate it always like networking as well thanks for everything talk to you soon